let's just let's just start the next recording session on that one. The Chicago rat hole becomes a tourist attraction. I'm sorry, what? Dubbed the Chicago rat hole by comedian Winslow Dumain. <laughs> the Chicago rat hole. Get a load of those rats. Hmm. Man, I'm still full of pizza. Maybe the pizza's making me angry. Oh, what's this? Oh, someone who, who always, they bother me. It's something important. Post this to me. It's John. I know John. He does a lot of NFT game stuff. It's really fun. This is really bad for the recording, but you know what? You're you're in a Rift Tracks fuck-up show. Deal with it. You You know what you were getting into, buddy. You know what you were getting into, and if you didn't, I'm sorry. John, you were so wrong. Rift is inevitable, and GameStop is ahead of the curve. One year later... GameStop has decided to wind down our NFT marketplace due to regulatory uncertainty of the crypto space. Effective as of 2nd of February 2024. Customers along... Oh. <laughs> wah, wah. Uh, the rat tourist trap. A car yeah. Like... The, uh, it, like, I got the best ending in Anon's game, partially because I... There was a couple of ones where I actually, like, got it wrong, and I played it through, and I was like, oh. But I think that really... Like, I cared. I wanted Anon to stop being a little shit, because I felt he was a big shit. He was a big, big poop in a tiny toilet. <laughs> Let's get to it. Hell yeah. Yeah! Also, if people were watching this this on the video, remember that last time we had an amazing scene of two LGBT characters discussing the hardships of not being taken seriously with your transition because you're not uh, adhering to gender stereotypes. And it was not set up. It was not properly executed. It does not get followed up in the proper ways. And it's utterly wasted in this game. And that is a damn shame. Hot ziggity. Nope. No way. Nope. Nope. I like that she had. Of course they have them, because Nasser would have given them. I can't imagine reading that, because your light's like over there. Shouldn't you be the other way around so that you can actually read them? Because you're in the way of your own light. Also, I don't think Fang's appreciation of the moon ever gets risked with. Ooh, we got some more stuff here. D's talking. Six shows you must binge before the meteor turns into tower powder. Check it here on YouTube. Oh. Oh, sweet Jesus. Oh. Okay. So my stomach likes to turn inside out every once in a while. That one almost came out. That would have been gross. So gross. No one asked me for anything ever. If you ask me for something right now, I will break into your house and cry. This is good. But here's something you might want to know. If Fang has feelings for, for Naomi. Because, you know, Naomi did a favor and they talked about stuff and Fang blushed. So there's an implication, and there's the pretty hero thing. Shouldn't Fang be like a little bit, am I poly? Can I justify this? Should I talk to Naomi? Like, I feel that on some level, some sort of thoughts should be had. I don't know. Maybe I just don't get Fang. I'm torturing myself, haha. Oh, look at that face, though. It's cute. Oh, no, why? You're into that? <gasps> BDSM. BDSM. <laughs> Say it already. Say BDSM. Just look. <laughs> Why? Because future. Nothing looks good. How, how did Fang never think of it like this? How did Fang never think of it like this? No more college stress. Tossing the into the volcano. It's a caldera, you dingus. It's a different thing. What is your big future plan? <gasps> yeah! I would love that. 
Because I like fashion. I like clothes. I look at a lot of them. All right. <laughs> you know, just gonna to quote Caveman on. We but we keep going. Maybe one day, who knows? It's not too late if you stop trying, don't you think? W what is that quote about? But I, uh, like Fang as a fashionista is like we had the little makeover scene. Fair enough. But Fang wears this incredibly bland outfit. <laughs> When you think about it, it's just black. It's not even like interesting. <gasps> oh, that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. That's incredible. So good. I mean, it's not my style, but it's nice. Especially for like, you know, someone who's probably a teen. Bloosh. Now we get some sweet troops. Give me the sweet troops. Ah, uh, look. Look at how much Fang is expressing. Like, this really adds a lot to the scene. Before we had, like, a really flat one. Fang's like, ooh, ah. This is so... This is better. We're going places. Also, you know what would have been a way better scene? For, because the scene we get for uh, uh, Naomi coming out is after the Battle of the Bands. Wouldn't have been way better if, my stomach is acting up a lot, sorry. Wouldn't have been a way better scene if Fang goes up to Naomi and they've had like a couple of chats, they've had some fun, and Fang says, I'm sorry, Naomi, but there's someone else. They, they like fashion, they like music, they, they like everything so much. Like I feel this kinship with them. And it's the pretty heroes. It's such a funny way to resolve the story. It's a cute story they could talk about when they're older, but they don't do that. And I think it's kind of lame because it would have been perfect to, to use that, to leverage it, to, to break Naomi's heart, but also not. Like, there's a lot you can do with that. It'd be great. It, it would cause some friction. Like, how does Naomi deal with this? Does Naomi, as the, the pretty heroes guys, yell at Fang, like, why did you dump Naomi? Naomi's perfect for you. Or what, would she give up the ghost? Be like, it's me. You know, so much you can do with it. Mm. It's just a cute scene. It's just me. It's, it doesn't need to be there. It, it's not necessary at all, but I want to see it. In person? <laughs> <laughs> see, I'm into it. Maybe. Eventually. Also, it's been like, what, a week or two? Make out. Make out. Why does this scene work so much better than the previous ones we've had that were like this? I'm into it. The other scene was also pretty good. Why are there some like two pretty decent scenes <laughs> that actually work? Music's nice too. That's called qualia. That's called qualia. Let me make sure I got that one right. A qualia, or a quell, are defined as instances of subjective conscious experience. It is what red is to you, for realsies. Yeah, like, this scene just works. It's cute. It's got energy. It's got something going. It's got a conversation. It sets up potential future hooks for conversation pieces. Potential friction. It's nice. But I know it won't do anything with it, and that makes me so sad. It makes me as angry as the other scene. Like, they didn't do anything to set it up. They did a little bit, but not enough. It's too big of a scene for that big of a revelation. For that little of a setup. I feel like the college application should have been a green light to have an option that Fang Theory is to... Oh, that's a good one. Yeah, that's also kind of nice. Like, have some have some, some, some nice little breadcrumbs. Because we don't really get some, do we? Do we know that Naomi's in the anime? I know! Yeah, look, I love this excited thing. Yeah! Although, although I do feel like the other side of the face doesn't like line up with the muzzle the way it should and it looks really weird. It looks bent.
Look at those sparkles in our in their eyes. Yes. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Never. You know something I notice about these conversations is they do a very little like overlap. Like I've had DMs. You go, you go. Sometimes you go over people. Like they're way too polite about waiting for their turn. I feel. Minor thing. Like, f like in writing, you probably shouldn't do that because it gets confusing, and you want to have a certain degree of clarity. But if you want to go for something grounded and realistic, you can put that in there. Maybe once or twice just to make it funny, but I personally like doing a bit more because I, I just like the, the sensation of like, this is a mess and this conversation is messy because that's what it always feels like to me. She's never modest, says Naomi. <laughs> Where's the most basic outfit? Why is there an inflating balloon in the song? I only put one, why is there three? I was I was scammed and robbed. <gasps> what a cute scene though. That was cute. Sure, Reed can't flirt, but we can talk. Yeah, bloosh! But where are the sweet troops? Look at this. This was nice. This is a bit slow, the ship have a speed of function. Again, like, it's subtle stuff like... <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's good. Also, wait, why is she... Remember, when we started the scene, Fang was facing the TV, and now Fang is, like, facing the other way, which is what I recommended, because that's where the light is, and that where she would see the brochures best. When did they turn around? <laughs> that's like breaking the 180 rule with a character. <laughs> Why would they turn around? Oh, they're blushing. It's great. Oh, I can't take it. Fang is charged with sexual energy. <laughs> oh. Oh. <laughs> okay, let's take a look at some of the, the chat. It feels obvious that the mysterious person is... What do you mean it's only done that way? Like, it's obviously not Reed, because Reed doesn't talk like that. It's probably not Trish, because Trish doesn't talk like that. And also, I don't think Trish would be sneaky about it. Sage, I don't know if Sage wants anyone. <laughs> Sage seems married to baking. And Stella, I don't know. If Stella would crush, it would be earlier. It's to inflate the... T Because of the giant snoot. Yeah, that snoot does alter Fang's ability to see the floor. <laughs> is, it, is it just me, or does Fang look really young sometimes? Something about the forehead. Not even like an anime way, just like weirdly young. <laughs> Oh, this is just sad. No. <laughs> Holy shit, it's four? Oh, my charged sexual energy is gone. When did they take that picture, by the way? Because Fang has only done the silver hair thing since this year. 
and check out this cafeteria. There's a taco station and a rap station. Um, hey, anyone who was watching this, what was the first... Like, Fang looked at their phone three times, and it was four, but what was the first one? Because I need to know. I can't... Actually, I could just... I can rewind. You idiot. Yeah, it's been like 20 minutes. Jesus, Fang, don't be such a... Don't be so picky. Okay, let's take a look. Ooh. Yeah, she looks... Wait, some scenes, Fang looks like she's like... More like early teens than late teens. She's an adult. They should be an adult. I keep fucking up the pronouns and it's annoying me. Because I, I like to get it right. We're in the end game now. Why are we in Snoot Game Ending 1 territory? How did we get here? Please tell me. The weird thing is a lot of characters actually look pretty much their age. It's, it's weird. Uh, part of me wishes that this whole time it was Rosa Wright against Dead. Because it was give off like, oh. That's also an interesting conflict. Because Naomi does like one thing, but doesn't really fit into the story. Especially because she's more peripheral. But having it be Rosa would be interesting. You, there's a lot you could do with that. But Rosa's such a vestigial character, that would never work. But I could see it work. I could see that being an interesting story, actually. I'm not going to write it. Because I got a lot on my plate already. And I'm not getting paid for any of it. So I'm taking it at my own pace. Listen, if someone can just type out something in Spanish, I could say it as if I'm Rosa. I could, I could try really hard. Listen, okay, so if I'm doing more Snoot Game stuff, I'm turning it to Spanish until we get to, like, a choice moment, and we just have to endure me talking bad Spanish up until that point. You have to endure it. I, I no excuses. It's the price you must pay for the endings. Stations. Yeah, yeah, it looks pretty cool. Look at all these entomology courses. There's an entire class just on spider biology. I looked it up. It has six different textbooks. Also, quick question. Why does Fang look at her oh, look at their phone? Shouldn't there be like a clock in the school classroom? That works way better. You know, it's just a background element that Fang looks at instead of the phone. It, it, something about an analog phone feels analog clock feels better for time progression like that. Because it's a bit more vague. Oh, uh, mm, why not eight? Feels like a missed opportunity. Dude. I'm gonna be the spider queen. <laughs> I love how Reed doesn't want any of this. It's great. What about you, Fang? Dragonfly wizard, maybe. I think I'm more of a dragonfly wizard. Very cool. I mean, what about your applications? For college? Yeah, I'm not doing that. <laughs> I'm not applying anywhere. Do your parents know that? Because... Yeah, do your parents know that, Fang? Because your parents don't seem to fucking exist in order to be, you know, to misgender you and deadname you. You know, the thing that's supposed to be doing to establish the fact that there's friction between you and your parents. They're not doing any of that, Fang. Like, I know that would require trigger warnings and all that stuff for the people who are annoyed by that or are sensitive to that. But um, it's kind of your character arc plot point thing going on here, Fang. You should probably do the stuff that's relevant to your character, Fang. The Battle of the Bands is my college application. We get that break and we're set. Like I said, if you're gonna not have the parents around, you can't make the story about what the parents do, you dumb. And at least we know the show is actually gonna happen. What does that mean? Uh, not you too. I heard just this morning that even if it does hit, it'll probably land in the ocean. Yeah, it'll evaporate a lot of water, cause tsunamis, and also temperature problems. And, uh, like, it's not good, Trish, even if it hits the ocean. But just think about it. Us, being hit, smack on the nose, out of the huge vastness of the entire galaxy? It's a statistical anomaly. Yeah. Hope you're right. But life doesn't it's work like that, Trish. Are you worried about it? Everything has a 100% chance of happening after it happened, you know? Yeah, whatever. The end of the world? Yeah, it's on my mind. Come on. Why worry about it? Nothing we could do anyway. You two gotta chill about the space rock. Actually, I didn't want to say that. I was not paying attention. Let's get out of here. We gotta get back to it. I'm not going with choices I don't believe in. Oh no, I can't fast forward. I forgot. <laughs> My fangs are gone! Ugh. From the Langoliers. No, her parents are stuck in the one from the terminal. Nasser being the older brother makes sense because then Nasser could confer and be like nice to Fang and take care of home and it makes sense. You know, the first child instead of the second. 
Did Fang start fucking up so early? Uh, I can't fast forward to this.